Hi guys, I am here to show you super quick, the really easy, safest way to draw up your IV push medications um, if a dilutant is needed instead of using the pre-mixed flush syringes. Um, so really quickly, I've gathered all of the supplies that you need here. Um, I have our medication. Um, we'll pretend that this is a bottle of fentanyl. I have a bottle of dilutant, so this is normal saline. Um, we will have stocked on all of the departments and all the med prep areas now um, bottles of the normal saline as well as sterile water, depending on what your medication calls for. Um, a alcohol prep pad, a blue cap um, for once the medication is prepared, um, a syringe, a label, and a needle. So super simple. Obviously, we're going to wash our hands before we start, um, and we can get our syringe and needle prepared, ready to go. We're gonna take our alcohol prep pad for our medication, clean it for a good 15 seconds before we, before we pierce it. Then we can draw up our medication. So this is gonna be a nice and easy way that we can pull up either the whole medication or we can waste a lot more simply and more clearly if that calls for it. So let's say we're drawing up um, 100 micrograms of fentanyl. So that will be two mLs. Okay. And then we're going to pull up our saline. So we use our vial at this point now. And we're gonna go ahead and grab another alcohol swab, clean the top of this. And then we can pull back our dilutant. So I've checked my resource. We have a new poster that will be in every medication prep room. Um, and my resource tells me that fentanyl can be given undiluted or it can be diluted with normal saline up to five mLs. So using that resource, I have five mLs drawn up here and I'm gonna discard this vial. It is a one-time use. At this point, I can use my blue cap to discard the needle so I can bring it to my bedside safely. And I'm gonna use one of my syringe medication labels. So I'm going to put my patient's name on it. I'm going to put the medication that I'm giving and the ratio that it's um, diluted into um, and the date and my initials. So if I hand this off to anyone, they'll know exactly what's in this tube. Um, and this way, using this syringe, it can't ever be confused with the flush, which added safety to that as well. And you're done. It should be that simple. Um, this will be a big practice change, but I think once we all get used to it, we'll all agree that this is going to be a much safer practice for our patients. Um, any questions, just let me know. Thanks.